I've produced a few similar videos to this one in the past, but this has been quite a popular video suggestion, so let's give it a go. I've released all of the 90 plus potential players into the wild, so as long as they're 89 rated or below, they're now having to look for a new club. So you've got the likes of Hazard, Courtois, and in fact there's 23 players in total. The lower rated ones are the likes of Mbappe, Jesus and Tielemans, 79 rated, and they should go to a range of different clubs. Usually when you release the highest rated players in the game, a lot of them end up going to Bayern. As there's a mix of players here though, hopefully we'll get a more varied result and the players will go to a multitude of different clubs. Let's put it to the test and let's find out where everyone goes. Also, if you're new to the channel and want to see more FIFA 17 experiment videos, smash that subscribe button and if we can hit 2000 likes again on this video, that would be absolutely insane. Let's get into it then, and let's find out where everyone goes. Right then, so like I was saying before, there are 23 players in this list in total. I've simmed forward to the end of the first season. Let's see where they all are now. Courtois for some reason can't find a club. He's 90 rated, an incredible goalkeeper, yet nobody wants him. Donnarumma meanwhile, went back to Milan. And I had to double check the database on this one just to make sure that I did release him as a free agent. I did but for some reason, in the game he's incredibly loyal. In real life he wants to leave and it looks like he might sign for Real Madrid. In this game though he could have gone anywhere in the world and chose to stay at Milan. That is loyalty for you. The real life Donnarumma could learn something from this guy. Oblak signed for Bayern, Varane went to Arsenal along with Eric Bailly, Dembele couldn't find a club, Bernardo Silva went to PSG, Pogba signed for Barcelona, Tielemann signed for Bordeaux, Verratti now plays for Dortmund, Martial has gone back to Lyon, that was his first club in professional football so he's decided to go back to France, back to his roots and he's back at Lyon. 84 rated at 21 and he looks absolutely incredible. Eriksson's gone to Roma, James went to Bayern, Kevin De Bruyne can't find a club, he's 90 rated and looks absolutely insane but nobody wants him. Deli Alli signed for Lazio, Dybala's now at Wolfsburg, Mbappe signed for Spurs, Jesus went to Crystal Palace, Griezmann is at Dortmund, Harry Kane went to Roma along with Eriksen, Lukaku signed for Bill Bow, Sane's at Salta Vigo, and Eden Hazard, just like Kevin De Bruyne and Courtois, couldn't find a club. I'm not entirely sure why, but there you go. So let's see the effect that this has had on the league tables then. Starting out of the Premier League, Arsenal picked up Varane and Bailly, and with these two new centre-backs, they've won the title, so... Yeah, fantastic season for Arsenal. Not so good for Spurs though, they lost the likes of Eriksen, Kane and Deli Alli, picked up Mbappe, but it wasn't enough. They finished sixth and they've dropped out of the Champions League. Palace meanwhile picked up Gabriel Jesus and they finished ninth in the table. Whilst over in France, the return of Anthony Martial nearly won Lyon the title. They just missed out on goal difference. Heartbreaking. Bernardo Silva went to PSG and he just about won the title with them, whilst Yuri Tielemans went to Bordeaux and they came 7th. And it's really no surprise to see Bayern winning the Bundesliga title. Their team was already ridiculous. They picked up Oblak and Hames, finished on 85 points, only lost one game all season and they did of course win the title. Verratti and Griezmann went to Dortmund, they came 2nd. Dybala meanwhile went to Wolfsburg. Not so good for him, they did come 6th though which is a bit better than they did in reality. And even though Juventus didn't pick up any of the free agents whatsoever, they got 99 points. Just like Bayern, they only lost one game all season. And just look at that record, 96 goals, plus 75 goal difference, 99 points, ridiculous season. Meanwhile, Eriksen and Kane went to Roma, they came third, Lazio came fifth complete with Deli Alli, and Donnarumma stuck with Milan, and they came in sixth position. And I thought Bayern and Juventus were impressive, only losing one game all season. Check out Real Madrid though, they went completely unbeaten, they picked up 100 points, and even though Pogba went to Barcelona, it didn't really improve them, they got 85 points, finished way off the pace of Real Madrid, they still did pretty well of course, but... Yeah, Real Madrid just had a ridiculous season. Lukaku went to Bilbao, they came 5th. And Salta Vigo got Sane and they finished in 13th position, so not great. And although Real Madrid might have completely crushed it in Spain, they got dominated in the Champions League. They were beaten 5-2 by Bayern and they went on to win the whole thing. 
As I said before, their squad was already stacked. They picked up Oblak and James, and they won the Champions League. Spurs, meanwhile, came sixth in the Premier League, so it wasn't exactly a vintage season. Yet, they made it all the way to the Champions League final. Fair play. And over in the Europa League, Schalke went on to win the whole thing. Whilst West Ham somehow got to the semi-final stage. I guess they never had to go up against Astra. And by the end of the second season, Courtois was up to a 91 rating. Yet he still couldn't find a club. Dembele got picked up though. He went to PSG. And Kevin De Bruyne was picked up by Barcelona. I was quite surprised that nobody wanted him in the first season. He is such a good player in reality. Very good in the game too. Yet nobody wanted him in the first season. It was a bit odd. But now he has gone to one of the very best clubs in world football. And maybe they can put a bit of pressure on Real Madrid this season. They came second in the first season, 15 points behind them. But now that they've got the likes of Pogba and Kevin De Bruyne, hopefully they can start pushing forward a bit and challenge Real Madrid at the top of the table. Whilst Hazard still doesn't have a club, he's up to a 90 rate and he's absolutely fantastic. And nobody wants him at all. That is so bizarre. I don't know why this happens in the game. Most of the players have found a club at this point, yet... Hazard and Courtois, both Chelsea players, haven't got a club yet. Maybe the game just hates Chelsea, I genuinely don't know, but yeah, it's just a bit odd really, isn't it? And Arsenal had another very solid season. In the first season they won the title, whilst in this second season they've just missed out on goal difference. Manchester United have won the title, they picked up 90 points, only lost two games all season, and had a goal difference of plus 50. While Spurs have slipped down the table again, in Season 1, they made it to the Champions League final, yet came 6th in the table. And in Season 2, they've dropped down to 7th. PSG, meanwhile, have won the title in France. They won it in Season 1, just about. And in this second season, they picked up Dembele. So, yeah, it's not really a massive surprise that they've won the title again. This one's maybe a bit more surprising, though. Check out the Bundesliga. Dortmund, Bayern and Wolfsburg were separated by 3 points. Dortmund have won the Bundesliga title, Bayern came second, and Wolfsburg finished third. Wolfsburg of course picked up Dybala, Bayern got Oblak and Hames, whilst Dortmund picks up Verratti and Griezmann, and it's led them to Bundesliga glory. Juventus meanwhile have now lost three league games in two seasons. Not a bad record at all. Roma meanwhile with Eriksson and Kane have come second. And sure enough, picking up Kevin De Bruyne has definitely helped Barcelona. They came second in the first season, picked up 85 points, which wasn't too bad. In season two, though, they've got 90 points. They've won the title. Real Madrid came third, Sevilla came second, and Villarreal finished in fourth position. And ten years on from beating Chelsea, Manchester United have once again won the Champions League. This time they've defeated Barcelona. Barcelona knocked out Chelsea in the semi-finals, actually, so it could have been a repeat of 2008, but... Not quite. Manchester United have won it again though. They've beaten Barcelona and I am very happy to see that. Whilst Milan have won Europa League and I'm pretty happy with that too to be honest. I used to absolutely love watching them back in the day. They had so many quality players. So yeah, that makes me pretty happy too. I wasn't massively prepared for what's happened in the third season though. Courtois still can't find a club. He's up to a 92 rating. His stats are amazing. Yet still nobody wants him. And Hazard moved to Korea. And it wasn't even to play for a successful side. What are you doing with your life, mate? What were you thinking? He's on 16 grand a week, so it's not even like he's gone there for the money. He could get so much more elsewhere. Yet he's choosing to play in Korea. Okay, mate, I'm not entirely sure why you're doing it, but... Yeah, I respect the moving away. You're not doing it for money, you're doing it for the passion of the game. That's pretty awesome, to be honest. What's not so awesome, though, is seeing his former club, Chelsea, winning the Premier League title. Manchester United came second, City third, while Spurs moved up to fourth position. And the bottom of the table looks quite interesting. The relegated teams were Aston Villa, Sheffield Wednesday and Fulham. Fulham had a goal difference of minus 51, Sheffield Wednesday had a goal difference of minus 60 and they picked up 31 points between them. Awesome. PSG meanwhile only lost one game all season and they picked up 103 points. Whilst Wolfsburg and Dortmund have both slipped away a bit in the Bundesliga and Leverkusen have won the title. They do have a good young team to be fair so yeah they're all obviously coming of age and they've won themselves the Bundesliga title. And Juventus only lost one game in the third season so in three seasons they've lost four league games. 
That is ridiculous. Not as ridiculous as this though. Salta Vigo struggled a bit in the first couple of seasons. They picked up Sane, but it didn't really do a lot for them. But in the third season, they've won the title. They picked up 86 points, only lost four games all season, and that is absolutely crazy. Atletico Madrid came second, Barcelona third, Sevilla fourth, and Real Madrid have slipped down to fifth position. And Bayern have just about edged it in the Champions League, winning the shootout against Barcelona. And looking at their route to the final, they beat Arsenal 5-4, Sevilla 5-2, and Spurs 5-3, so five goals in every single round, and they are deserved finalists to be honest. In fact though, Barcelona score 5 in every round too. They beat Porto 5-3, Inter 5-3, and then beat Dortmund 5-0, so... Yeah, both teams were ridiculous in this tournament, took it to a penalty shootout in the final, and Bayern have just about emerged victorious. Whilst over in Europa League, it was Roma with Eriksen and Kane, up against Lazio with Deli Alli, so... Yeah, pretty interesting final there. It also went to penalties, and Roma ultimately won the Europa League. Anyway though, so I'll finish off the video there. Courtois is the only player that still hasn't found a club. Everyone else did find a club, and it produced some pretty interesting results. So thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Leave it a like if you have done, and I'll catch you again next time.